Hello and welcome back to Joyless Gaming and the Injustice 2 Legendary Grind. It is time to see what fate has in store for me. You are torn between two worlds. Our realms converge, bringing chaos. Order will be enforced. <laughs> Quite harshly. Begin. Right. Oh dear. This is going to be a little bothersome because, uh, well, not so much for me, but for viewers, because uh, Fate's not exactly known for amazing combos or anything like that. Yeah, he's known known for finger lasers. Damn it, I dropped it. I'm trying to do an actual combo and drop the damn thing. Uh. There is a storm coming. This chaos ends now! Yeah, fine, get some health back. I still technically need a few minutes of time. It's a good thing, I suppose, that he's not necessarily known for combos. Dr. Fate wins. Because he does have, like, three nine-frame mids. And meterless launches and what have you. Kara Zorel, the lost girl. Cal doesn't belong in prison. Order requires it. Begin. Right. Yeah, because he's got that one button launch. Uh. Oi. Back one's a nine frame mid as well. And of course there's that, which is a nine frame advancing mid. But luckily for everyone, you can't actually get the launch off of it. Like that. On block. Because it doesn't come out on block, which is another thing that's good because it's actually plus three, technically. And that's really just because of things like uh, Aquaman's trait it means that you can have things come out that otherwise wouldn't. All right. Okay. Fine. Uh, bloody AI. Just bloody hell. Cut it out. He says, No, you're playing you're playing Doctor Fate. You you've like you're amazing, so we're just gonna move read everything you do. Barry Allen. Been a long time, Fate. You should not have returned. Begin. Right, well, okay. Okay, let's see about. Damn it. Crap. <laughs> the string is unsafe, you should just cancel it on block. Ow. Oh, just... no. Right. 
Well, I did badly in this tower trying to show off a combo. I got one once. The next tower is probably not going to be anything. Because it usually isn't. Yeah, well that one sucked as usual. You two have the gift of foresight. I see a future bathed in blood. You abuse your gift, Atrocitus. <laughs> I don't Begin. think he is seeing what will actually happen. Now, it seems like for some reason. For some reason, I don't have uh, an, a, a setup with the instant judgment or whatever it's called. We get the three of those at once. I keep forgetting to use it. That's bull. Whatever. Doctor Fate wins. Yay, level twenty. Big boss time. changed since Metropolis. It has cost you your soul. Begin. Why are we fighting here instead of, um... We're fighting here instead of on Brainiac's ship. Are we fighting here because of all the fake Egyptian stuff in the background? Way to just get hit instead of do a meter burn back three like I told you to. fate, I guess. Yeah, I foolishly forgot to pay attention. I do have instant judgment. It's on my first setup, the first one I used. But this is a set that can go with this as well. So the duration of the Sheridium's lock, well, he's got, he's got a set that um, already increases that, doesn't it? Yeah, he's already got a set, but that set can't be used with his legendary because it uses slot four. And it's actually successfully connecting a glyph of Osiris or glyph of Anubis. There is a chance that Dr. Fate will receive one of three buffs of damage or damage reduction or free floating unk. Ha. Huh. Strange. So if it's. 
Ok. Aha. Free unk. Ok, what is that? Damage buff or damage reduction? Doesn't last terribly long. That was the damage reduction. And that must be the damage buff. Yeah, so the glowing hands means that he gets a damage buff. For like six seconds, the glowing unk on his chest means he gets damage reduction. I suppose I should see what kind of damage reduction it is. Thirty-four, thirty-four. Whoa, okay, well that was basically a 50% damage reduction. It's pretty good. Hmm. Seems like the chance is <clears throat> reasonable. <clears throat> Pardon me. Also seems like the chance is reasonable to get any of these buffs, but you also don't get to pick which one it is. This this is <clears throat> this is happening more frequently than like Cyborg's uh, stunning projectile was from his legendary. So yeah. This is obviously a much higher chance. It's just a shame they don't tell you what the chance is. Yeah, so... It says a chance, but it doesn't say that it's actually a pretty good chance. The downside of it is, is, is obviously, is the thing you don't get to pick which of the three things you get, but... You know, none of them are actually all that bad. Um... Yeah. The damage reduction was like 50%. The damage buff was pretty good as well, but... Like, cutting damage you take in half is actually quite <laughs> quite good. I don't think anyone else has a damage reduction quite so good. Hmm. And I suppose, yeah, they just threw in this extra duration on his... Interactable denial that he has with Sheridium's lock. Or Sheridium's lock, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, it's not really worth 3,000 minutes, uh, but it's not, it's not garbage, it's, it's just, it's got a chance, but because it's actually a relatively high chance to see something happen, you'll see the effect, and you won't feel like you're being shortchanged, unlike, say, Cyborg, when I was testing his, it took ages to get an actual stun on his projectile, so it's a very low chance on his, but this is a pretty good chance on Fates, so yeah, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's just also not really worth the time for the grind, and it doesn't necessarily make Fate better at what he already does pretty well, so hmm. Well, anyway, as ever, I hope that this has been Informative, entertaining, uh, edifying? I don't know. I hope somebody got something out of it. All I got was this legendary after 3,000 minutes. Ugh. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.